Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where in today's episode we are finally going to be going out and exploring the world. Well, a little bit anyway. <laughs> um, I have decided to explore... Whoa! Is it raining outside? Yikes! That's loud. Um, yep. It's storming outside. Okay, let's just go back in where it's nice and cozy. <laughs> um, yeah, I have decided to go and explore in the overworld as we haven't really done anything, any exploration in the overworld. Um, so yeah, I have decided that. And we, because we have many biomes close to us, we have a desert, we have dark, is it called roofed forest? I think, I think it's called that, the biome. Um, and we might be able to find some pretty interesting stuff in there. In the desert, we can find desert villages, we can find um, desert temples. And in the roofed forest, I don't remember if you can find a village in, in there or not, but I definitely know that there's a possibility of finding a, um, a woodland mansion, which I really want to find as well. So yeah, I just have to decide in which direction to go for. Now, you might be wondering why I have a brand new iron sword in my inventory, and that's because I am not really happy with this unbreaking one enchantment that I got on my sword here. So, I went in my enchantment table, and I went in and just to see what I could get. And at number three here, we have sharpness one, which is one of the, one of the ones that I really wanted. So, three to one. Sharpness one, really, really good. Now, here, you can actually see a difference. If we compare these two together, if we take this iron sword with unbreaking one, it has 1.6 attack speed, that's the same on both, but the attack damage on this one is six, which equals to three hearts. Six attack damage, I'm pretty sure, is six half hearts. And if we take a look at the other iron sword with sharpness one on it, we can see that it has seven attack damage, which actually, makes it the same as a diamond sword without enchantments. So this one it does have a heart more damage when attacking. So I'm definitely going to be choosing that one. Quiet. Wow. Um, yeah, so we do that slight, slightly more damage when we are fighting. And I'm just going to put my this sword in here. We will eventually, when we make an anvil, and get some more levels, we will be able to put those two together so we have sharpness one and unbreaking one. But I don't really want to use my iron for that at the moment. So yeah. Alright, so it's storming outside and I don't know if I can actually sleep through it or not. Um, yes, I can sleep through it. Alright, I think I got enough food. I think I just want to make an extra shield just to be on the safe side. Um, don't have one in here. Oh, I do have one. Okay, good. Don't need to wait one. That's good. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much ready. I got food here, as you can see. I got two beef in there, but that's fine. One of my main goals to find is actually cows, so I can get more leather. Um, yeah, I think this is everything. I think we're good to go. Let's just go up and take a look at the wheat farm. Maybe we can get a bit more bread. Whoa! This is why I really want to improve the lighting at this place. <laughs> oh man. Okay. You should die pretty fast with this new sharpened sword. Whoa. Okay. Didn't really hit him there. But we got him. And there's a skeleton right there. You missed. So sad for you. There we go. Um, Put that in there. Okay, we could get a little bit, little bit more bread. Let's do that. You can't have too much bread. Or too much food, actually. <laughs> bread isn't the greatest um, food source, in my opinion. Actually, it isn't, because beef... I'm pretty sure stuff like beef and like cooked chicken and stuff, both they both give more um, hunger-wise, but I think they also last longer. Um, I'm pretty sure. But the last one I'm not 100% sure about, but I think so anyway. Alright. There we go. Mo almost got all the wheat. Alright, that yielded 56 wheat. Do that, and we got 18 more bread. 
Wonderful. Okay, so. Actually. Um, you know what would be a good idea actually to make? I think I'm going to make a compass. Because that will allow me to easily find my world spawn. In case I get lost. Which with me is a possibility. <laughs> So I'm going to make a compass just to be safe. So here now I can always find back to my world spawn, which is in clearly that direction. So I think that should do it. Um, let's just put that there just in case. And I think we are ready to embark on our journey. Um, I have no idea where to go though. <laughs> um, either just go in one direction or go that way or go that way and what am my render distance set to just going to kick it up to 32 chunks um but it doesn't seem okay there we go now it's rendering um yeah i don't know roofed forest or desert um roofed forest or desert oh man we can't really find any cows in the desert, but on the other hand, I think the possibility of finding a village and or a desert temple is greater in the desert. <laughs> um, let's take desert. Let's take desert. And we'll take the roofed forest maybe in the next episode. Speaking of villages, we have a village right next door. <laughs> oh man, okay. Why haven't I enabled... Whoa, oh, Bunny, you scared me. <laughs> Why haven't I enabled um, 32 chunks rental distance before? Hmm. Also, I see... I see... Well, a little bit lag. I see that tree way over there in the distance. That is um, a savanna biome. So, you know what? Now I'm definitely going this way. So, we are embarking on this great journey. And hopefully there will be a blacksmith in in this village as I really want its treasure. But even if it doesn't have a um, a blacksmith, then it's fine with me. Because they are villagers and we can trade with them. So let's see if they have been eaten because they've been so close. <laughs> they might have. They might have. Okay. Yes. Oh, I love the desert in Minecraft. I really do. Okay. So far it doesn't look good. I don't see any I don't see any natives. They might have been eaten. Let's go in with caution. I actually okay, wait, I see some in that house over there. Natives has been sighted. And this is really good because now we can get carrots. We can get uh what are these called again? Um beetroots. We can get beetroots which I've just taken, a big root seed. Actually, I'm just going to do some farming here um, because I really want the big roots actually. So there, we got big root and big root seeds. We can now expand our farm. And yes, there are natives. Um, hello. Huh. Oh, you are the guy that doesn't trade. Okay. Um, is there anyone who trades here? Ooh, potatoes. <laughs> I'm not stealing your crop, I'm just Okay, stealing so much of a crop. <laughs> but I'm replanting it at least, right? There we go. Good. There. 19 potatoes. That's actually all I need. Actually, I do need some carrots as well. Um, but yeah, we found a village. And it has been right next door all this time. Which is insane. Okay, so we got three carrots. Not bad. And we got some rabbits. Okay, let's see if these natives got anything, or villagers, got anything interesting to trade with. So, you're a cleric, you give, you take 39 run flesh for an emerald, a gold for an emerald, not bad. And, oh, why well, there's so many of you? <laughs> okay, okay, you're the leather worker, can I buy leather from you? No, of course not, you take leather. <sighs> I wish you could do like 
the deals, but the other way around. Okay, what about you? Oh, you're the guy I just talked to. <laughs> um, okay. You. Wait. Okay. You are new. And... Wow, we have many clerics in this town. But I also see a librarian over here. Hello. Wood and... Wood? No, paper. Okay. There are so many of these green guys that don't um, trade. That's crazy. Hmm. All right then. Um, I think I should actually protect this village a little bit better. In the future, I might make a defensive perimeter around this town. Maybe I will actually prioritize that in the next episode. Um, just because I don't want to lose these guys. And when it becomes night time, well, they are in danger of, well, subification. <laughs> <laughs> if that's even a word um, yeah so we found this village no blacksmith though but that's very good actually because now we can get rid of our rotten flesh now zombies will actually be a target because I can get emeralds from it okay I guess we'll just continue in this direction in the desert biome and see what we can find I do see a roofed um, forest over there as well and I do see the sun setting so it would be nice actually with a a couple of sheep or something. <gasps> it's a donkey. <laughs> it's a dunk and another village. Wow. Okay. Now I'm happy we went this way. <laughs> um, yeah, we found a donkey actually, a lonely donkey. Hmm. You know what? I might just tame you, except that I don't have a saddle, and saddles are not craftable, so I cannot ride you. <laughs> But you know what? Maybe this village has a um, blacksmith with a saddle in it. We'll have to see. That sounded like a lot of zombies. I'm expecting a dun dungeon right here. Definitely. You know what? Let me just... Um, just in case. Let me just turn down hostile creatures. There we go. Okay. I want to see if there is a dungeon here. Which I am expecting. Okay. Got zombies here. I think it's just a group of them. I don't think it's a dungeon actually. Um, let's see here. Just need to see if there's a dungeon nearby. Not from what I can see. Take that. Take that. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there we go. Now, if this were a dungeon, there would come a lot more. So, no. No dungeon. Alright. I'm just going to hit right back up. Because I don't really need anything from that cave at the moment. Okay. I really want to get away from that village and over to this new one so I c so they don't get eaten. <laughs> so let's hurry up over there and see what they got to offer. No blacksmith by the looks of things. But that's fine. We'll see if there are any um, villagers who can trade with something good. Oh, that's right. We got husks here. I forgot to speak once. Okay. There we go. Give me your XP. Um, yeah, no blacksmith, but that's fine. Actually, I do want a few more carrots. There we go. Just harvesting some carrots here. Good, that'll do. Um, let's see. Okay, looks like everyone is indoors or are indoors. Um, there. Let's just. Light the place up just a tiny bit. Look at the horizon. Maybe try to find something else that's very interesting. So yeah, I might make a separate... Oh, you're trapped. I will do this for you then. It's not pretty, but I will be returning. Whoa. Do not blow up. Do not blow up. Yeah, I really want to take these villages and... Or villages 
and um, surround them with a fence to make it safe and then also um, put torches put torches um, in here so no zombies can spawn whoa so yeah I think that will be an, ob an objective in maybe the next episode who knows um, yeah all right let's see in here whoa yeah it is dark in here actually <laughs> I would run out too if it was me and now I'm out of torches um, let's see Anyone in there? No. Are there any? Whoa. Um, buddy. Whoa. Lag spike. Lag spike. Okay. Oh no, oh no. That creeper is about to explode. Well, that creeper exploded. Okay. This is bad. Um, their farm just got destroyed. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to fix it though. I'm fixing it. Ah. Once I can just get my shield up. There we go. Okay. Creeper, you gotta die first. <gasps> I got a music disc. That was not even intended. <laughs> Why do I get these leg spikes all of a sudden? That's strange. Alright. I think I can fix this. Maybe. Might not be able to. Um, I actually don't want that to be like that completely, so people can get back up if they fall down. There we go. Yeah, I need some more sand, actually. Let's go dig up some sand. Um, let me just fix this. <laughs> be right back. Alright, I'm back. Still, um, still, well, fixing that farm thing. Just got some dirt. But there are three things actually four. Oh no that villager <laughs> oh no oh no he's about to get eaten oh dear oh no oh no 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 well he is the guy that cannot trade but still save the villager there we go I got hunger but that's fine and now there are two creepers following me oh dear well that was not intended fine <laughs> Okay, yeah, let me just... Oh man, these lag spikes. These are crazy, I haven't got, gotten these before. While I'm recording this series. Hmm, very sorry about that. Yeah, I did know there was a ravine there. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I need some more dirt now. But yeah, if I can just get back up, I can actually show you three things that are actually four. One of them is the ravine that are of interest. And one of them is that there are llamas here. Yes, llamas. Whoa, and a creeper right next to them. Yep, I know, I know. <laughs> He's dangerous. Um, yeah, so we found llamas here, which is awesome. Um, I, I'm not, I don't think they are rideable, but they're good for transporting stuff. So you can make like caravans. Um, because they can carry chests. So that's one of the amazing things. The other one is that there's a ravine right here. The next one is that there is an ocean right here, which I really wanted. And the next one is that there's a spider. No. <laughs> that's not what I was going to say at all. Man, not a combat. There we go. And the other spider's coming as well. Die. There we go. The other one is... There is a village, and if you can just see it right to the left of the cursor right there, it's a desert temple. So that's our next target. Um, oh no, there's another husk. Another husk threatening the village. We shall go and protect. Happily, I'm using... Thankfully, I'm using... Um, I'm playing in normal difficulty, so... They're not getting... Or their doors kicked down. So, yeah. There we go. Got that taken care of. And just put some dirt right there. And, um, I feel like I should make a. I feel like I should make a hole. <laughs> I might be. Well, be too kind, some would say, but. Nope. Nope. Gotta do it. 
It's my reason the creepers blew up and there we go. I'll throw that. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. And let's do that and there we go. Okay, now I just gotta fix this hole up here. Yeah, we've got this music disc stalled, which is pretty cool actually. Um, where was the explosion? Right here. Let's fix this right up and let's take a look at the third village that we have encountered so far and see what they got to offer. I know they have a desert temple right next door, so let's see what's in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I need just a few more blocks. There are so many of these guys that can't even trade. I think actually the whole village might be filled with them. There we go, four. Because I haven't seen, in this village, I haven't seen any, like, tradable villages. That's kind of strange. Hmm. Let's just have a quick extra look. Okay. Wait, I see one right in there. I think it's a butcher or a cook or something. Uh, oh, two, five cents. Let's just put that there and drop that. Okay. Yes. A butcher or a cook. Oh. You're completely useless to me at the moment. <laughs> I need leather. I'm not going to sell any leather. Yeah, I don't think there are any other than him, actually. Wow. Okay, then. Let's head on over to the next village that's over there, I think. Um, or should we... You know what? Let's go to the ocean first. And then from there, go like that or in that direction. And see what the village has to offer. Now we are entering plains and I see horses as well. I hope actually there are more than one saddle in that desert. Um, there's a temple. You might not have been able to see it. It was really small if you're watching this on a smaller screen. But you should be able to see it now. Right there with the red um, red or orange. Um, what's it called? Hardened clay or terracotta as it's called now. Um, yeah, we got a blue ocean here. Which is actually something that I really wanted to have. Amazing. This is cool. I'm actually getting ideas here for like um, for like a boathouse slash fishing house. Man, so many potential things to do that are on my to-do list as we go. <laughs> Man, okay, that's really cool actually. I'm really happy we went this way now. And if my eyes doesn't deceive me, I see a blacksmith. Yeah, the cobblestone right at the at the village. That's a blacksmith. Oh, cool! I actually do need that. Let me just grab a bit. There we go. I do, I do need some more torches, so it was actually perfect. There we go. Grab all this. Just sixteen, I guess. There we go. Sixteen, just to give myself a stack of torches and get rid of that bone. Don't really need it for anything. Yeah. I think this will be the last thing we do in this episode, and then maybe in the next episode, that looks cool actually too, um, maybe in the next episode we will um, prioritize making these villagers safe. And I will have to think, think about how I'm going to do it, what kind of defensive perimeter I'm going to do, and also lighting wise, because it's going to take up a lot of coal. But I did see coal in that ravine. Um, but yeah, here it is. Another village, desert temple, and a blacksmith. Cool. That's three villages in, well, very close to home, actually. Um, I'll save the desert temple for last. And let's just see this village right here. So we got a butcher. We got, ah, we got a blacksmith in here. Um, guys, let me through, please. Okay, weapon smith. Coal, five rolls. Okay, not bad. You take run flesh and other guy. There you are. Yeah, take run flesh as well. One of these guys that can't trade. Um, let's take a look here. Hmm. Well, that's a nice village actually. I don't know if we got anybody else. We got a guy here. 
I think I talked to you. Um, looks like they are trapped in here. Okay, you're the butcher. You take raw food. I will remember that butcher. Um, okay. There we go. Put that right there. Okay, let's see what this guy has to offer. <gasps> that is amazing. Iron! Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, we got bread. We got two diamonds. That's actually what I was most impressed about. And the armor. That's really cool. He can keep the sapling, so... You know what? He'll get the gunpowder. <laughs> um... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's give him the gunpowder. There we go. That's that should be fair. Yeah, he's a blacksmith. Yeah, I guess he uses gunpowder, right? So yeah, two diamonds. That's actually not bad. Let's then see what's f waiting for us in this desert temple. I think I just heard a skeleton as well. Oh dear. This might get nasty. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm just going to eat a pork chop because I think it's going to hold a little bit more. Okay, shield up. Check. Check your corners because there might be hiding creepers behind these actually. So be sure to check those. Okay. Light the place up as well. Okay. I think it's clear for investigating yes okay so if you haven't done this before um, you should be careful because you see that stone thing there that's a pressure plate and below that it's 19 T so if you step on that well kaboom and you're not going to survive that at all so I don't know I think I'm just actually going to go down this way um, yeah, right here, and dig that up. Now we have disabled the trap that is in the desert temple. Okay, and I'm just going to do that and that, and then just do that for now. Okay, let's see, and these chests are not trapped. If they were, they would have a red thing around them, if they were to output a um, red soul signal. Okay, um... Not bad, actually, because you can't craft iron armor, so, uh, horse armor, sorry. So that's actually a pretty good find. Oh, we got enchanted books. What are they for, though? Let's take a look. Silk Touch, that's a really good one. And Fortune 2, that's a really good one as well. Don't actually remember, I think it goes on a pickaxe, actually. So that will go on my diamond pickaxe for sure. Okay, we got a bit of gold and also some iron. Not bad. And we got two golden apples. Are you kidding me? And diamond horse armor. Wow. This is amazing and I'm actually going to take the sand. <laughs> believe it or not, because I want to make some of this. Yeah, there we go. Just so I can get out here. I will leave the TNT for now. Um, I'm not going to take it. There we go. Well, that was a really um, profitable trip. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will have to end it here, sadly. But yeah, I don't know. In the next episode, we might continue our journey. We might um, secure these villages. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. And if you have any ideas on what to do or how to secure the villages or anything like that, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Alright, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. And I have no idea why I talked like that. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.